Buenas dias, muchachos y muchachas. Today, I'm in Sorata, and I'm gonna go hike this mountain up here. I don't know if you can see just peeking through the trees up there. It's Mount Iyampu. It is stunning. I think it's the fourth biggest mount or tallest mountain in uh, Bolivia. We're not gonna go all the way to the top, but we're gonna go up to a lake at 4,200 meters of altitude called Laguna Chilata. And I'm just waiting for my, for my guy to come and, and pick me up from uh, my hotel here at the, at the central square. So yeah, this is gonna be a real, real big one. I'm really looking forward to this. We were out, arrived yesterday, we were out hiking just around the town itself, down the valley. The views here are stunning, phenomenal. Just take a look up there. Here's on the central square, just take a look up the mountains there. Over to the other side, how the clouds are getting burned by, by, the, by the sun at the moment. So the sun's coming out, the clouds are going away. We could just, as I said, get a peek over the top of that house over there. See the snow peak up there? And that is up the way that we are headed. So, let's go explore. This is gonna be a big one. We have arrived up the mountain. We have left the car behind. And this is our guide over here, Max. Hola. Say hello. Hello. Max is our guide. He's been telling us a lot of stuff about Sorata. He knows a lot. I'll put Max's number, your number, yeah. in the description so people can contact you for uh, tours in Sorata, no? Si, si, si. I can do that. Max knows a lot. Max doesn't know a lot of English, no? Eh, uh, no muy bien. A little bit of English? Eh, uh, básico. Basic. <laughs> Basic <laughs> English. <laughs> Aquí subimos. Exactly. All right. So yeah, currently we're hunting for water. Uh, Agua? Agua. Agua. <laughs> We're uh, good looking for a agua minera. A mineral minera. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Fountain, a natural fountain of water up here in the hills. ¿A qué altura estamos? Eh, 3900 más o menos. Más o menos. Más o menos. 3900 meters. Vamos a subir hasta la laguna a unos 300 metros más arriba. Okay. 4200. Esta es la Laguna Chile. 4200 meters. So 300 meters more to go. And it is spectacular views here. Look at these views behind me. Phenomenal way above the clouds up here and it's absolutely gorgeous and it's taking our breath away i've seen one llama climbing around in the mountain over here just as we parked up but he was too quick probably also too far away for the camera to pick up but here we go you see probably some llama poo, that one. I'm not sure, but I would guess. I don't think cows make it up this high. But yeah, the guide, Max, he's really, really, really knowledgeable. Doesn't speak that much of English, but phenomenal in Spanish. And I'll put, as I said, I'll put his number in the description so anyone can can contact him if you're coming to Sorata yourself. I'll highly recommend him. He's been doing phenomenal chats. Very, very knowledgeable about everything going on up here. 
in this town and there's so much to do. All right, enough chatter. Let's go. Okay, next step, we're climbing the rock. Look at what we're going on here. Channeling our inner llama, climbing these rocks here. Absolutely, <laughs> it's like, look at my feet here, it's like, just two feet tall or two feet wide and look at the view so Max our guide is telling us that there's also lost Incan ruins up here in these mountains that we might be able to, if we have time we'll find them later today after we get to the lagoon after we get to the lake but he's saying yeah, there are some Incan ruins up here and he was also telling us once we were coming up that the Incans, when the Spanish tried to conquer this uh, village down here, Sorata, the Incans came up here and built dams up in the mountains and rivers and lakes to build up water reserves over time and after a good amount of time they then broke down the dams to uh, hardly speak here to flood the town down there and basically kill as many of the Spanish conquerors as possible that is one of the many, many interesting stories around Sorata, this village. There's so much stuff to do here. The mountains, the valley is so gorgeous. Just take a look at that. We are up at the lagoon. Look at that view. Wow, spectacular. Absolutely phenomenal view here. <laughs> Literally breathtaking as well. <laughs> wow, the lagoon as you see green turquoise color with that um, with that like pointy rock there reflecting in the mountain or reflecting in the water and the snow peaks so the one what's that the one literally behind me right there and then the one over to the side All right, there over there the one to the What's that for you to the right is um, is Ilimani and the other one on the other side over there is Anguma. Anguma is actually taller than Ilimani by a couple hundred meters. And so Anguma is the third biggest mountain in Bolivia and Ilimani the fourth, confirmed by the guide. Oh, wow. Now we're just gonna 
sit up here, take in these views, also look down in the valley behind me. Absolutely gorgeous as well. Stunning, stunning views. And we're just gonna sit here. Hopefully the cloud that's covering the Ilimani will just take off from here. He says it's another uh, it's a full day, so you'd go here, camp here, and then if you are the totally adventurous type that likes to climb to the top of these types of mountains, the glaciers, it's another full day, and then you come back down, sleep here, and go back down to the valley. Um, but yeah, could you imagine camping up here? Could you imagine those Incas also that set up these... Um, Little settlements up here, had some construction up here, agriculture coming up here, having this be your your playground. I could do that. I don't know about you. And yes, he's a, he's the guy says over there on that that little mount on that wall is where there's some uh, construction from the from the Incans back in the day. And yeah, from here, I guess you could jump right into the lake. I'm not going to do that. I'll just leave you with the view for now. Wow. Spectacular. So here we have the ruins. From this point the Incans could stand up here and watch down the valley and see those, uh, those uh, communities, the town, Sorata is down there as well, and could watch here. And that wall going across here, they would have that as there. Obviously you've got to imagine that being five, six meters tall or something to be able to protect themselves if the Spanish comes up. And then this would be here that they would stand and they would observe what are the Spanish doing? Are they coming for us or not? And from here they would be ready to attack. Basically, let's go investigate this. So these, these rocks here this is basically construction from back in the Incan in the Incan times. This wall here, going all across here, down by my feet. Right now, it's only yeah, uh, it only goes to my hip. But imagine that, like up here, taller than me, a couple meters high, just sitting right here, looking out. Where are where are those? Pesky Spaniards. Where are they? Oh, there they come. Attack, attack. Do, do, do. Basically, with, well, I guess not firearms back in then, back in those times, archery and air rifles. And here's like an entrance. Look at this. So you come in here. Hopefully the wind is not too bad, but you come in there, walking in. And this would be now on the inside of this little, well, not really little, of this fort that they would have built here, the Incans, back in the day, to protect themselves from the Spanish when they invaded. Let's get those pesky Spaniards.
and let's just race up to the top of this little hill to give you the view look at this view just standing here on top of this wall out into the valley absolutely beautiful la puerta so over here So this is como un segundo, como una segunda fortaleza. Wow, sí. Toda esa montaña es hasta el otro lado. Es cubre prácticamente toda la montaña. Ajá. Por todo, todo el sector que es de este. Acceder. Este. Este sería una puerta. puerta. Había otro allá. Había otro. Pero debe ser más o menos desumbado. Ah, sí. Caído. Mira, este está apilado. Ah, sí. ¿Verdad? It's completely flat, cut. Exacto. And over there. So that's like that's the main gate. And then up here the second the second wall there going across up there on the where he's going in now the guide. That's then the second entrance that we're coming to over here. So here is the, the second gate, completely flat, beautiful door. Here you can get a feel for que tan alto era, igual, no? Flat, yeah. Aquí ves, exactly. here you can see, this is taller than me, this is like dos metros, algo así. It's like two meters tall or so. So then you can get a feel for how tall they would have built this this fort. Y ese muro seguía aquí, no? All the way around. Toda la montaña. All the way around. Wow. That is impressive. Look at that wall going up there. Phenomenal. Look at him go. He's <laughs> just raising up these hills. It's impressive. I think about that. ¿Y desde qué año es esto? Como 1400. I see. It's like from the 1400s. Uh, times. Opa. Opsa. Como? Acá hay un muro. Ya. Esta. Y acá. Ah, ya. Yeah. Acá. Ya. Yeah. There's a wall there. Todo eso sería como una. So here you see the the Incan constructions really really well. You see all this perfectly laid rock here so this would basically have been like the kitchen that hole there you put a pot you would cook in this and then down here in this platform here as you see the the rounding in here this would basically be the bed. Get an idea of that. Like all these rocks. Incan times from back in 
the 1400s when the Spanish when they had to hide from the Spanish <laughs> Then you have those walls. Here's another wall you can get an idea of here. That is impressive stuff. Impressionante. So this was like basically a small city. There's another wall there. It's como un tercer muro. Going across. Like a third wall. So you have wall number one, wall number two getting more and more protected here and from here again you have that phenomenal view down into the mountains or down into the valley sorry spectacular stuff imagine those times they were just built these little tiny houses one hut to sleep one hut to cook otherwise it was spent all day outside ¿Qué tantas habitaciones tenía ¿Cómo? En toda esta montaña está repleto de habitaciones Como 500 personas Puede ser 500 o algo más It's like 500 people more or less Ah ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah. Este igual o es más natural. Este es natural. Utilizado. Este es igual. So natural wall here. And you have wall number one there and wall number two here. Imagine this. Just being a little city with about 500 inhabitants up here. Incans living working here's the beginning of the third wall that we were looking at from the downside so this plateau there would be filled you see a couple of rock constructions that would be old houses back in the day imagine if they were able to reconstruct this wow cool Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cada una sería como una habitación. Acá igual se ve algo notorio, mira. Yeah. En todo ese sector. Es hasta arriba. All the way around the mountain. You see these. All the way. Todo la, to, toda la, toda la ronda. Toda la montaña. All the y way aquí, around. Aquí sí. ya es precipicio. <laughs> Hacia abajo. Uf. Precipicio. Ahí cae. <laughs> The guys over there as well. Impresionante. Es impresionante la historia que tiene, que tiene Dorado. Sí. So here we see a phenomenal example of a house. So here the wall going across. Then if we come up here, knock the door, go inside, you see here where I'm standing, there's a wall going around here. So this would have been the inside of the house. If I step in here, I would now be inside the house. And then over here, we have another rock standing by itself. I imagine that would have been the edge of the house or a separation um, from one room to the next. And then here you see behind me 
there are more all these formations all of one house there and then one house here one house there one house over there one house further up there's about 20 or so we can count here with about space for two to three people to sleep in each house and then you would sleep in like this section that I've stood in here next to the wall and then aquí al lado había otra parte como cocina uh, yeah so over there next to the the rock aquí hay como un roca de separación there's like the separation rock there and then you would have the kitchen on the other side you just gotta use the imagination and you can really get an idea for it Impresionante, huh? Impresionante. Yeah, all the way up, you see. All the way to the top. So the higher up you go, the bigger the houses would be. And up the top, arriba, es para el jefe. Más o menos, más o menos. Algo así. Algo así. Nada comprobado, pero se nota eh, que las casas son más grandes acá arriba. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y arriba probablemente estaba el, el jefe sí. y la casa más grande sí. a ver, abajo lo has, lo has visto más pequeñitas acá Ajá. más medianas y arriba más grandes sí. vale perfecto left the ruins behind we've come found the little stream coming from the glaciers up the top of the mountain running down here all the way down the valley creating a bigger and bigger river and up here we find as well some smaller lagoons Let's see. Aquí está. Wow. Over here, we find some more small lagoons here. Over here. And there's another one. Over here, one and two, and there's the guide, and over there was the other lagoon up top of there. So, yeah, and up here behind us are the snow capped mountains. Absolutely gorgeous as well, eh? Bolivia. Arriba Bolivia. You are taking the piss. This is too beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that view.
And here we are next to the lagoon that we were watching from up there when we were coming down from the ruins. Look at this. Fantastic lagoon here. It is turquoise color reflecting the mountain on there. And we've got the peak up here of I think that's Ilimani there and then we have Angoma over there. Just take that in for a second. Listen to the stream in the background. That is absolutely spectacular views. Wow. Incredible. Bolivia, put it on your list. This country just keeps amazing me. How many absolutely beautiful, beautiful places this country has. And look at that mountain. I mean, what is not to like? Take in the sound of the stream. I hope you're watching this video on a big screen so you can really can enjoy those views. Wow. Hayaya Bolivia.